Hello. Okay, just a quick note, you don't have to watch the video. If you have a look in the description, you'll also see all the instructions there, but watch the video to get an idea of what those are talking about. So first thing you need to do, put down a controller. Anywhere will do, although the closer, the fewer cables you need. Connect a connector, that's why it's called that, to every single machine that you want to be visible on the network. Boot and boot, get network cables of the same color. You can use any color, but they all have to be the same color. Connect the network cables to everything like this. And then finally, to connect to the controller itself, you need another connector. So the goal is to pull things out of these OR extractors and into the fragment combiners. So for each of these, we're gonna to want to set up an instruction that says, remove from here, put into there. Remove from here, put into there. To do that, you need a channel. A channel is required in order to do anything at all. The type of channel determines what's gonna go along it. You can set logic, which I believe is redstone, there's RF tool stories, there's mechanism logic. Xnet item is what we're gonna create here, create. Now, you can set up these little buttons. Each one of these can do one thing per connection, right? So it can either insert or extract. That's basically it. Now let's go and have a look at here because we don't know what these are. So in order to fix that, we're gonna right click on these and name them. Now you can see they have a name in the thing, connector tier zero and one, one, tier zero and one, one. So from both sides of these, I want to pull from here. So I'm gonna create a, call it an event. I'm not sure what these are called, create an event. It's gonna extract from here. But that is gonna leave it in there because these haven't got anywhere to go. What I also wanna do is set up an insert on that one. Combine a tier zero and one. So I'm gonna set it up on the same side, the south side. Create insert, now we should find. It's being pulled out, it's being put in. You can set that to stack mode, it will go faster. So let's set that up on all of these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match up the sides, right? So I'm gonna do extract from the south, insert into the south. Extract from the north, insert into the north. You can copy paste. This one copies the connector, this one copies the whole channel. So I'm gonna copy the connector, paste it here, paste it here. And then I'm gonna copy paste the insert one into the combiners. Now I've intentionally done this wrong, all of these are on the same channel, and I've done this wrong to show you what channels do. Everything here is being extracted and inserted, and it is not being... It doesn't care where they go. So they're all going to go into the wrong places. Good thing to note, you can turn this off. Now nothing's happening. And then you can copy-paste the whole channel. And when you paste a channel, it will always be off, even if it was on when you copied it. This is good. So what we can do is, we, what we want to do is we want to match up the south side of connectors tier 0 and 1, 1 and connector 0 and 1, 2 to the south side of the combiner for tier 0 and 1. So this should be the only one on the channel with these two. So you can see the point of a channel is to have eight separate things happening on the network at the same time. This single thing is to pull out of the south sides of these two blocks and put it into the south side of that block. We know it's the south side because they match up. We're gonna do the same for the north side on a separate channel, done. Now, these two, another two more channels. Having set this up, you can now turn the processing on again. This channel I didn't copy paste, which is why it's already on. So now this is connected to this, this is connected to this, and the reason that they're separate is they're on separate channels. The other things we wanna do are to bring in power and fluid. So these all work on this fluid. It's the same. Put the connector down, connect it to the network, and then create a channel for it. So make a new channel. This time it's gonna be Xnet fluid create. So from the south side of that, we're gonna create an extract and then we're gonna create an insert on every single one of these. So we we're inserting on the same side as everything else, all of that stuff. So we should find these are filling up. Yep. Finally, this, this, and this all need power. Now you could, if you wanted to, put a flux point on all of them, but this thing could do power too. So we've created this, we've got a new thing, we need to create a channel again, this time for power, energy. Extract from there and then again insert into here. That's getting energy, that's getting energy. Future Altrius here, I realized that I was about to say that this is getting energy but using more than I can give it. Wrong, you have to press this button and insert energy into the controller as well, it is part of the network. All of a sudden, we're getting energy again. Anyway, there you go. That's how you set up a simple Xnet system. There's many more things you can do. For example, if you have different colored cables, they won't connect to each other. 
remember that you should always turn these on and off in order to edit them because that makes it extremely easy to not make mistakes or at least to not make uh, cause issues whilst editing. Anyway, I hope you appreciated this. Thank you for watching. Uh, please join me for the stream in which we play this world and I'll see you next time.